Connecticut has been the birthplace to NFL athletes throughout the years, including the likes of Dan Orlovsky out of Shelton, as well as John Jenkins, a Meriden native who will suit up this evening for the New York Giants. And Rich, it's now commonplace for nutpeggers to make it professionally, and they can thank the, thank the likes of Tom Rylick, who not only played for the Shield, but also helped put the NFL on the map. Sports Ticket's Nate Brown has more. The village at East Farms in Waterbury features a memory wall titled These Hands, paying homage to the lives that call the facility home. Some hands belong to nurses, others military men. Tom Rylick's hands played in the NFL. For Rylick, a Meriden native, the NFL didn't seem possible. It also didn't seem real when Tom received the call from the Detroit Lions on draft day. I said, who is this? Who the heck are you? <laughs> You know, because, you know, this was just a joke. And the voice on the other end said, Sir, this is no joke. And just by that tone of voice, I said, uh, I assume this is for real. <laughs> he says, this is for real. Drafted in 1957, Rylick spent five seasons in the NFL with stops in Detroit, Buffalo, and Denver, the last of which came via a trade. So I went down there as I coach, I go, what's up? He says, yeah, I got a, I got a new position for you to play, Tom. I was playing tight end. I said, oh, yeah. I said, what's a new position? He says, yeah, you're going to still be playing tight end, but in Denver. <laughs> It's almost like he, he didn't leave the game. He, it brings back life to him, that smile. Um, it's something that's just purposeful for him to still be able to stay connected. He's particularly uh, the expert now that it's in season. With yes. It's Sunday and yes. Monday. And I think people um, in the community here, the other residents, want to mm -hmm. sit and be around him because he's the expert and mm -hmm. they get to share that. These days, Rylick can still be found watching one of the teams he suited up for, yet it's no longer the final score that matters to Tom, but the memories that come flooding back. It's more, it's not about the game or the specific statistics, you know, that's about being, you know, fandom today. It's just, he, he feels like he, he, a part of it still. I and mean, he is, he's part of that lineage uh, which helped build this game today. It started with guys like my father. A crowd of like 70,000 people, a big crowd, that's, that's what I miss. To just to run into a stadium and perform in front of 60, 70,000 people. At, the adrenaline is there, I tell you, right now. You're like an actor going on on stage, you know. Feels good. During his time in the NFL, Rylick recorded 87 catches for almost 1,100 yards and three scores, playing in 49 total games. And Rich Tom was someone who made the switch when the AFL was born. That's right. His time with the Bills beginning in 1960 coincided with the inaugural season of the American Football League and saw eight new teams join the league, including the New York Jets and New England Patriots.